Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Leasinger Media sort of quick tip, I guess, we're going to be taking a look at a new feature in DaVinci Resolve 11.1 that I am ecstatic about, but didn't even get mentioned in the press release, or if it did, I missed it. So what is this? Well, backstory, if you know anything about me, I'm a monitor fiend. I've currently got five monitors on my workstation setup. I will do my best to put a picture in the video here of where I'm working. And DaVinci Resolve, until release 11, had really awful multiple monitor support, which made me, you know, a sad panda. So in release 11, they came out with some actual halfway decent multi-monitor support, as you will see in my favorite features of DaVinci Resolve 11 video that I put up a while ago. But in that video, I mentioned that it really was a bummer that you couldn't choose what went in which monitor. Well, in 11.1, you can. So in order to do that, you just go up to view, user interface layout, dual screen, and then hit on, and that'll pop it up. Since I'm just recording one monitor, I'm gonna just go over to my snipping tool real quick, and I'm going to do a full screen snip and then go into paint and paste that in here. So you see what we've got going on. We've got our main sort of coloring window here with the tools that we're really familiar with and our viewer. And then we've also got sort of the less, you know, the less colory stuff. We've got our gallery, we've got our keyframes, we've got our scopes, we've got some metadata stuff. It's really great. This is Audition where I'm recording audio. So, you know, that's not in the multi-window thing. Now, in order to change your windows around, you can go to View, User Interface Layout, and then change secondary display and primary display. So your primary display is the one that you're seeing right now with all of our normal color tools. And the secondary display is the one that we saw with the metadata and the scopes and stuff. So you can just select from there and which display you want. If you're on Windows and you don't know which display you want to go to, you can just right click on your desktop, go to screen resolution, and then it has the numbers right there. So you've got Two is my main display and four is my secondary display. Really, really handy. So I hope that you enjoy that as much as I do because I'm using this all the time. There's no going back for me except for for tutorials, I'll do single monitor stuff. If you enjoyed this little quick tip, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, uh, leave a comment telling me what you think about you know multiple monitor workspaces. If you're really cool in DaVinci Resolve, you can actually you know get a, an actual playback card and put you know your your output on a big screen. It's super nice. That's down the road. It's a couple dollars that I haven't felt like spending yet. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. Be sure to share the video if people you know would like it while you're sharing it on your various social platforms. Be sure to check out Meester Media's social platforms on Facebook and Twitter, links for which are in the description. If you're really into what you see here, be sure to check out the Meester Media website. It's got all the tutorials on it. It's got some of my work. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a good thing. I'm going to be updating that with some more stuff soon, hopefully. www.meesnermedia.com. Link for that in the description as well. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesner Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.